How to edit YouTube videos in 2022? What are the tricks? What is the process? What to look for? We're gonna talk about it in today's episode. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Mobavi vlog, and welcome to the episode number three. In the first one, I talked about the specifics of creating a YouTube channel in 2022. The second was about how to shoot a video, and today you will learn how to edit a video. So, video editing is not an easy process for beginners, in some way even exhausting, but essential, because when you start your YouTube channel, you can't just give your videos to someone for editing. You need to make it yourself, feel everything from the inside. And remembering the time when I started editing my first videos, I've brought the main recommendations for beginners, the recommendations that I would like to hear when I was starting out. These recommendations will make your videos more professional so that you can edit them, watch them and be like, that's cool. Almost all newbie editors, YouTubers greatly underestimate one very important thing. This thing is audio. That's why we're talking about audio First of all, what might seem strange to a beginner, we're editing the video here, since when has sound become so important? In fact, remember that sound is always more important than the video. Someone believes that this is about 50-50, 50% video, 50% audio, but in fact, it turns out that about 70% goes to audio and about 30% video. Why is this happening? When you watch a video, a movie, a commercial, whatever, any video, this is a sequence of shots. Something happens on the screen, there is something new every time, the brain analyzes it all, but audio, on the other hand, is consistent. You can even call it a bed for all the shots that goes on top of it, if it makes sense. And what do novice editors do? They open up the program, start cutting the video, like I have this, then this, then that. They stick it all together, then there are sound effects and some kind of music, so they build out the video part and then the audio part. It would be much more effective if you first make sure how the video sounds and then build out the shots. That means you set up your audio, you fit the music, the sound effects, then you realize that this transition will sound cool here, you put a video effect on it, and in this case, the video will look much better. In the previous episode about how to shoot a video, I showed you a good example with a good picture and a bad sound you would like to turn it off immediately. What you're looking at right now is a video from a camera which costs several thousand dollars. It is a film camera and I am now using the light of this room, simple room lighting, and also a microphone built in this camera. And I think you're not enjoying the video right now. And vice versa, if the picture is not very good but the sound is excellent, we want to keep on watching. This is the video shot on my smartphone but with good lighting and a microphone close to my face. We're very attached to audio, so it is much more important to understand how the video sounds and then how it looks. One trick that can be used on a regular basis in YouTube videos is L-cut and J-cut. This is a certain style of transitions where the sound of the first video clip goes under the second video clip. This is how L-cut sounds and looks. It's part of being human. If you wait to be perfect before you do everything, you're never going to do anything. And this is how J-cut sounds and looks. When there is a shift from one scene to another, or the angle changes, or for example, a basic cut looks bad, and instead of throwing in some kind of transition like this, which twirls everything and just looks ugly, you'd better use J-cut or L-cut, it will merge these two shots with each other decently. Definitely try this out. Creating quality YouTube videos isn't always about expensive software and effects. Movavi Video Suite 2022, the all-purpose effects bundle and the Fresh Mint Pack were designed to help you get even more views by creating engaging videos that are as good as popular creators' content. Movavi Video Suite is an intuitive platform that combines video editing, screen recording and file converting tools with a convenient preset system in one place. And the coolest thing about Video Suite is its accessibility. It 
doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, the subscription format allows you to get free programs value for the price of one app. And you also get all updates and new features that will be released over the next 12 months. The all-purpose effects bundle includes a huge collection of effects that will fit almost any video theme. And the Fresh Mint pack lets you create a consistent look for your YouTube videos. Once installed, the effects will be built right into this program, so you can add them to your project and adjust them in a few clicks. Follow the link below to check out a 45% discount on both effects add-ons and the one-year subscription to Movavi Video Suite 2022. Our offer is time-limited, so don't miss your chance to pick some presents for your family, your friends, and yourself, of course. In the previous video about how to shoot a video, I told you about the importance of B-roll. It is not just about placing them on top of your A-roll. I advise you to use two more important components. These are specific sound effects and atmospheres. For example, you have a B-roll with a seaside, and you can place an atmosphere of the sea, birds singing, and if you show some specific action, some movement in the shot, you may add additional sound effects of this movement, some steps, some small accents that accompany the movement in the shot. It will look much more interesting. For example, here's a shot without atmosphere and sound effects and with atmosphere and sound effects. This adds a sense of continuity of the video and increases the viewer's engagement. And where to find such sound effects? Anywhere, actually. A lot of sources. There's artless.io, they have a section with sound effects, there's epidemic sound, or if you need something absolutely free, then the YouTube music library in the YouTube studio. Go there, both music and sound effects are available. Download ready to use. Beginners like to use transitions very often and don't get me wrong, transitions can look really cool, but you need to clearly understand where and how they can be used. Kind of a location change or time of day, I think you get it, but it's not like you have one video, everything is in the same location and then you see a transition after a transition and again, 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 eventually it becomes more boring than if they didn't exist at all. Moreover, beginner editors often use basic transitions like a cross dissolve or twist transition, which is even worse. Instead, first of all, use transitions only when there is a reason to use them. And secondly, I advise you to use transitions that go as a combination of a camera movement with a digital effect. It sounds pretty complicated, but let me give you an example. While filming, hold the camera in your hands and at the beginning or at the end of the shot, you make a specific movement to the side or from top to bottom, or somehow you can twist it, you know, the sky is the limit. And having such a camera movement, you enhance it, you punch it up with some kind of digital movement, small animations, so this is real movement, and in this case, it looks very cool. To make it more clear, here's an example of a good transition. And here's an example of a not very good transition. So, of course, use them, but for a specific reason and use them correctly. When you watch videos of your favorite YouTubers, some elements they use, they don't do it every time from scratch. These are certain presets, certain templates. Why? Because time is money. If you can use something that will save you time, be sure to use it. That is why in Movavi we're constantly adding some new titles, new transitions, new templates to speed up and simplify your process. So if you came up with some style of graphics for your channel with a certain color, with a certain animation, save the template. Next time, toss these templates to the timeline, change the text, and it's ready, a lot of time saved. Therefore, use presets and templates all the time and always look for new ways to save time on editing because time is money. If you don't use shortcuts yet, make yourself to learn at least the basic shortcuts in your program because it saves a lot of time. When you start actively using several shortcuts, you will feel like flash. For example, in the Movavi video editor, such shortcuts as Control B to cut the shot instead of pressing the scissors and then clicking the shot, and for example, Control M to put a marker, and some additional titles will stick to this marker. Learn the shortcuts because it's really Really worth it. And since we're talking about video editing today, color correction shouldn't go unspoken. Generally, it's a separate topic for discussion, we can talk a lot about it, but nevertheless, 
here are some tips that will give you a good starting point. In a nutshell, working with color will become easier and easier for you every time. It seems like a lot of things to be done, but in fact, everything is pretty straightforward. And it's just a matter of experience. And of course, we're gonna talk about advanced color correction in the relevant programs. And what is the most important thing in color correction? The most important thing is to keep skin tones realistic. Because when we watch a video, we immediately realize on some subconscious level that skin tones are wrong and it's not pleasant to watch. Therefore, no matter what style you wanna achieve, you must make sure that skin tones look realistic. To verify this, open the program and the section called Scopes. And select vector scopes. You will see such a circle with some lines, but you and I are interested in this line, which goes up diagonally to the left. And this is the line that reflects skin tones. When you have a video, you will have different lines spread to different directions. And to make the skin tones more realistic, we mask the face and as a result, we'll see only skin tones. And using the curves, using the color wheels, you should calibrate it so that all these lines are shifted as close as possible to this line. If this happened, it means that you did everything right and skin tones look realistic. And then you can do whatever you want with this color, make the shadows bluer, greener, something more saturated. It's not so important and it's up to your taste. But first of all, make sure that skin tones look realistic. You also need to make sure that you don't lose information in shadows and highlights. To make sure, open the scope, which is called Luma, and check that nothing is hidden up at the top and nothing is hidden up at the bottom. The shadows and the highlights should live somewhere in the middle. The width of this graph in height will affect the contrast of the entire image. And this is actually up to you. The main thing is to manage highlights and shadows Although in some stylized cases, you can even eat up highlights and shadows. It may also look cool, but it's more like an exception. In most cases, it's better not to do so. Here's a quote by YouTuber Casey Neistat. Done is better than perfect. It is much better to finish the video and post it already than trying to make it perfect. Perfect is always in your head. Viewers who watch your videos do not understand this perfect. They will simply consume the content, so let them watch it as soon as possible and you will move on rather than trying to bring the video to perfection. You need to start this process of growing your channel as soon as possible. And it is only possible by uploading your videos. Therefore, do not stick too long with your editing. Check out these videos if you want to learn more about YouTube and editing. Smash the like button if this video was helpful to you. I wish you happy holidays, guys, and see you in 2022.